In this video, we're going to consider a car loan. We take a car loan for $25,000 with an interest rate of 6.5% compounded quarterly, and we're given a deal that no payments are required for the first five years. What will our balance be at the end of those five years? Well, we have a formula to calculate interest and balances when the interest is compounded a certain number of times of years. We should recognize the formula of A equals P times 1 plus R over N, all to the NT power, where A is the final amount, P is the principal or starting amount, R is the interest rate, written as a decimal, N is the number of compounds in a year, and T is the time in years. And so plugging in what we know, we're looking for the final amount. P is the principal, or how much the loan starts out for. It starts out as a $25,000 loan, times 1 plus R. R is the interest rate, 6.5, well, 25,000 was P, 6.5 written as a decimal. Remember, that means we have to move the decimal twice, so that would be 0 0.065. Common errors, people forget to convert. 6.5 would be 650%. That's a terrible interest rate. Don't buy the car. And some people only put the decimal in front of the number to get 0.65. That means 65% interest, which is a little better than 650, but it's still very, very terrible. Uh, don't take that car loan either. Move the decimal twice, 0 0.065 over N, which is the number of compounds in a year, and this one's compounded quarterly. So how many quarters do we have in a year? There are four quarters in a year, just like there's four dollars in a year. All to the NT power, N is four, again, T is time. It's a five-year loan we're interested in, so we're going to multiply by five. Now, as we enter this equation into our calculators, we need to be very careful with how we do it. What I usually do is do it in three steps. One step, I type in the parentheses. Another step, I'll type in the exponent, and then I'll do everything at the end. So we've got 25,000 times, and if I type in my calculator, 1 plus 0 0.065 divided by 4, make sure it's a scientific calculator, 1.01625, and as for rounding, sometimes the rounding gets really weird inside this parentheses. I would say use every digit your calculator gives you to be as accurate as possible. If you round too much, you can end up being off quite significantly. So put all the digits your calculator gives you. In the exponent, 4 times 5 is 20. Now we should be able to calculate the final amount. Depending on the type of scientific calculator you use, you might have to, to start with the long decimal and raise it to the 20th power, and then multiply that answer times 25,000. Or some calculators are okay if you type it in exactly like it is, 25,000 times 1.0. 1625 raised to the 20th power. Make sure you know how to use your calculator for this, and you should end up with a final loan amount of $34,510.49. So after five years, your car loan has gone from 25000 to over $34,000. And that's how we can calculate a balance with compound interest. When we see compound interest, if we know the number of compounds, compounded quarterly, four times a year, we use the formula A equals P times 1 plus R over N to the NT. Plug in what we know. I suggest, for the sake of avoiding errors on the calculator, do the parentheses and the exponents in separate steps, and then make sure you know how to enter this final step into your scientific calculator.